Labour Party wanted to include um, in the definition agreed by the Labour Party and its code of conduct. I think we can show that to you now. Um, there is a, a bit, it was, it was withdrawn actually because there was pressure put on the Labour leader, but he wanted this to be added, which is nor should it be regarded as anti Semitic to describe Israel, its policies, or the circumstances around its foundation as racist. Would you have liked to have seen that included? Absolutely. I think that would be an incredibly important clarification when you look at how IHRA's definition with examples has been implemented elsewhere. So UCU has implemented it, which is the lecturers' union. And after that, you've had the names of events having to be changed or events being cancelled. You had an academic put under inquiry. And it's all to do with this particular sticky point around the creation of the State of Israel. So you, so you think the creating the State of Israel was a racist act? In my personal, uh, my personal opinion, yes. It displaced 700,000 Palestinians. But my question for those who think that this protection shouldn't be in there is do you think that someone who thinks that the 1948 Nakba was racist, should they risk being reprimanded suspended or expelled from the Labour Party because if you think that that is in direct conflict with article 10 protecting freedom of expression sugar I don't I'm, I, I don't quite have the same view uh, uh, on, on this um, and I think the content and the context is important I was a member of the Home Affairs Select Committee when we looked at anti-Semitism in the UK. And let, let us not forget, I mean, this is, is an issue that goes beyond the Labour Party. Anti-Semitism, unfortunately, uh, which is racism, is on the rise in our country and we've all got to deal with it. But the way that we approached it as the Home Affairs Select Committee is, first of all, we properly consulted with the Jewish community. In fact, the first witness we took to give oral evidence was the President of the Board of Deputies. We recommended that all of the IHRA um, the whole definition be adopted, including all of the examples. We did suggest the addition of a clarification to uh, be clear that it um, is not anti-Semitic per se to criticise Israel um, without evidence of anti-Semitic intent. Now, you know, had the Labour Party adopted that approach right in the first instance, I don't think we would even be having this conversation right now. We would have been talking about the things we should have been talking about over the summer, the social care crisis, the fact that this economy is dysfunctional, the fact that our NHS is in crisis. We would have been able to talk about all of those things. But because this wasn't dealt with properly in the first instance, we have ended up with this shameful you know, episode scarring our reputation for being an anti-racist party, which is one of the reasons why my family started to supporting the Labour Party in the first place. So we've got to put this thing to bed and deal with it, and we haven't. All right, people will ask, um, Ash, if creating Israel was a racist act, which you think it was, many people will think, well, where does that leave you? Does that then extend to dismantling the Jewish state of Israel? Well, it depends what you think dismantling the state of Israel is. So Joan Ryan, in her letter to Jeremy Corbyn, said that respecting Palestinian right of return for five million Palestinian refugees is itself a denial of the Jewish right of self-determination because it would no longer be a Jewish majority state. The question that I would put to other people is, do you think that's anti-Semitism or do you think that's respecting UN General Assembly Resolution number 194? So do you feel let down then by Jeremy Corbyn? I think that there is room for hope because there will be another NEC meeting, there will be longer clarifications up to vote and that is an opportunity to do the principal thing, consult Palestinians right. and protect them in this code of conduct. Lizzie? It's I was just going to say, it's probably worth noting that the reason why that more fulsome uh, you know, lines that Jeremy Corbyn preferred, he, that want, he wanted attached to the definition. The reason why that wasn't adopted was, we understand, because of the opposition of John Landsman, the founder of Momentum, and Rhea Wolfson, who's another member of the MEC, both of whom are Jewish. So it, it's worth noting that even amongst, you know, people who are very supportive of Jeremy Corbyn, uh, there is there was opposition that, to this do, position. Do you know what? I'm that goes to the heart of the challenge we have in the Labour Party, which is too often issues are seen, it's the same with Brexit, as to whether we adopt this people's vote or not, is all seen through the prism of what you think of the leader, which ignores the actual issue at point. And until we break out of that prison as a Labour Party, and also accept that we are a broad church and there are different opinions on things that don't just revolve around right. the leader, we're going to end up in this kind of ditch that we're in. All right. Bring us up to date, Lizzie, uh, yes. um, on the Skripal poisoning so case. Back to Russia. We have to we have to leap from this back to Russia now.